Hello, this is Sean Sanders. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Hit that like button, subscribe, and tell a friend about me. Happy Vlogmas. I'm a little bit behind, but that's okay. I will catch up. There is nothing in the news except everybody's talking about Cardi B, and I don't care. I've already spoken about her. And truth be, be told, I'm giving her far more attention than I would give people in my own life about their marriages. <laughs> to be honest, I really don't care about that much about people's relationships. I don't. I don't. I care about mine. See, if I'm paying so much attention to yours, I ain't paying attention to mine. And mine is really all that matters. I mean, I don't want anybody to get hurt. But uh, even in that, sometimes it, 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 I can't be involved because people are grown and they're going to do what they want to do with who they want to do it with, regardless if I like it or not. So, uh, uh. so I mean, there's obviously nothing going. Okay, so um, Madge Sinclair died uh, this week. Um, sh she was a black actress very big in the late 70s and 80s and then of course uh, Nancy Wilson died I don't know how old Madge Sinclair was but Madge Sinclair was in Coming to America I believe she was Eddie Murphy's uh, she played the role of Eddie Murphy's mother I believe so Madge Sinclair a very accomplished actress in her in her day um, Nancy Wilson the famous uh, singer uh, she passed away this week at the age of 81. And Penny Marshall died, uh, evidently due from complications of diabetes. And I have told you my diabetes story. Um, I don't have it, but I, I told my story as a child growing up with a parent that, that was diabetic and why I feel so strongly about health and wellness because I saw my mom's health deteriorate from complications due to diabetes. So we are losing, I mean, those of us who are, I would say, 50, between the ages of like 35, 38 and 50, remember a lot of, a lot of these stars, a lot of these celebrities because we grew up with them when we were young. You know, I grew up watching Laverne and Shirley in Happy Days. I, you know, I grew up with that, you know. So, um, you know, it, we start seeing people from our childhood passing away. It's, you know, it's a little startling, but rest in peace. And let's see. Uh, I don't really have anything else on the agenda. It's the end of the year. Uh, hopefully everybody has gotten their money saved up to uh, finish their Christmas Christmas shopping. N nobody got time to be going broke for the holidays. I'm seeing more and more people not giving gifts for the holidays. And I'm even seeing that in my own family. Um, <clears throat> my oldest son, who's 28, he's married, has my granddaughter and and baby Leon is on the way to debut in 2019 and they very much are not into giving gifts you know they're Millennials um, but they on both sides of the family they have a lot of people that they would have to give and they would rather not give at all and I'm okay with that because I'd rather just spend the baby spend the money on the grandbaby and because they are a young couple you know us giving Eliza baby clothes and all of that it means no money out of their pocket so I rather gift Eliza and bless them with them saving money by you know playing grandma and being able to dote on the baby so I'm okay with that but I'm seeing more and more adults I see I'm seeing more and more adults not cook at home they're going out for Christmas because nobody wants to spend all those days in advance uh, cooking and cleaning their house and they just want to go out and have a good dinner. A lot of people don't care for the leftovers. They just want to go out, 
with the family, have dinner, and move on with their lives. But I do know a lot of people, especially that have adult children, they do not exchange gifts at all. So have you noticed that trend? I have noticed that trend. So, yeah, leave it in the comments. But I don't have anything else to talk about. I could really care less about Cardi B. I mean, it sparks a good conversation about how men and women and infidelity are treated. I mean, that that to me is a is a conversation to be had. Um, you know, I, I'm I I am never going to be one to tell a woman what she should do in her marriage and her relationship. That is that is her life to live. And 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 on the outside looking in, you are ne never privy to the the nuances of someone's relationship. So to tell somebody they should stay or they should go is all speculation. So, and what I'm willing to put up with and not put up with is completely different than the next person. So I learned that early on. So I just try to stay away from it. Now, you know, we can talk about relationships and things like that. I mean, I got married young. And, and and for my husband, this is, you know, I'm his second marriage, but, you know, we're, we're celebrating 25 years of marriage, so, but, you know, you should know what your deal breakers are. And I will just say this. I think women need to be protective of their bodies. They need to be protective of their heart. Like, if I was talking to my daughter and she was trying to decide on what to do, the number one thing I would tell her is that, and my son, you know, it goes both ways, but because women are innately or by what we think by society, a little bit more emotional than men. And we give our hearts away a little bit more than, than men per se, not at all. But what I would tell anybody is that the one thing you need to do is protect your body and you need to protect your heart. And I know too many people who have given their heart and given their bodies to people that do not deserve either either one of them. Now, if you out there dipping it and doing it and you okay with that, still protect your body. But most of us that are, are thinking that we are in a monogamous relationship is, is giving their heart and their bodies away. Life is too short to be wasting your emotional time and your your energy on someone that do not deserve your time and energy. I don't care if you're 25 or 75. People who enter my circle is because I feel comfortable with them and I enjoy I enjoy what they give me and what I give to them and and they are not energy vampires. Okay? And I definitely would not want anyone to not protect their bodies. You know, there's a lot of stuff out here that we don't need to get caught up. And, and women in their reproductive health, you need to protect your body. And once you find that somebody is not willing to protect you by being monogamous and, and being, and being, and being, um, faithful then you have to decide what to do from there i can't tell you because i'm not you but i do believe everybody should protect their hearts and protect their bodies and that you are worth you are worth someone being mindful that your heart and your body matters and if they want to be reckless with their body that is not something that I would advocate for someone to participate in. But obviously they have to make those decisions themselves. So that to me is a discussion, not necessarily about Cardi B and Offset, but in anybody living living life, you know. If you're out there and you just want to have a good time to have a good time, please protect yourself. But I think it's important to protect your heart and your body. And, and that's where you can be selfish at. I think it's good to be selfish in, in those in those as, at those aspects. So that's all I got to say for Vlogmas. Take care of yourself and each other. And I will talk to you 
tomorrow. Bye.